What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hashware Hub. It's about 9.05 Eastern Time, AM, that is, uh, March 6, 2018. We got a new trading video here on Bitcoin, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you guys are on YouTube. If you're on DTube and Steam it, uh, please, as well, uh, follow us. That would be greatly appreciated. Upvote and re-steam would also be greatly appreciated. Um, so let's get right on into it here. Uh, Bitcoin fell off last night. Okie dokie. So I think when we finished when we finished uh, our video, uh, we were somewhere around here. I think so. Yeah, I think we were somewhere around here because we were talking about this four-hour 11,200 11, level. So we're looking at Bitcoin right now on a, on a one-hour basis. But so the market came down, fell directly down. Um, fell on this one on a one-hour basis fell right past the 55 EMA, um, and it fell right to the 11,200 number that we called out well before this. Um, it then came down, and we had a secondary a secondary um, uh, place in which we thought it would stop, and that would be the top here of one. And it it rocketed right past that, uh, to, to be completely honest. I think if you look at it on a 15-minute basis or a 5-minute basis, you could see... It stopped off here for like a few minutes, like like 15 minutes, and then it continued on its way. So yeah, it did know it was there, but it just continued on its way. So let's go back to a one-hour basis here. So on four-hour basis, we are we are deleting this. Four-hour deleting the line we're deleting. This line we're also deleting 11,064. We're also deleting that because now we're we're heading into a new era. Okay. A new era of a downtrend and where are we with respect to moving averages okay so 55 on a one hour basis on a one hour basis the 55 we we uh, we rocketed right through we're sitting right on top of the uh, the um, uh, 200 moving moving average and uh, what does it look like on a two hour basis two hour basis we went through the 55 EMA 200 moving average we haven't touched three hour went through the EMA, not, not even close to 200, four hours, on and on and on, right? It keeps creeping up the larger your time frames, right? So, um, what's probably most significant is actually on a daily basis, right? Now, as far as what's most significant now, uh, is probably on a daily basis. On a daily basis, we want to make sure that this really doesn't come go through the 55 EMA all that much. 55 EMA right now is span, stands at $10,745.36, somewhere around there. Um, so it has come it has come down, uh, it's almost come down to this uh, 55 EMA. Where do we think it possibly could, st could stop next? is at the daily this daily hidden support level that we've been talking about for some time of 10,175 that's this orangey line right here all right another thing i want to show is is this um is this there's this kind of like trend line going on on a few different time frames right and where do we stand right now okay we stand where we're just peeking our head right underneath it it's like peeking your head underneath the surface of the water. The problem is, is this. RSI never got to really overbought territory. It tried to, right? Um, obviously, on the Laguerre RSI, it did because that measures it in a different manner. But on the Laguerre RSI, it looks like it's turning down. It could possibly be turning into negative territory where it would cross below the, uh, the, the, the spot 80 uh, line, right? So... Um, if this happens, I do feel that we could possibly continue continue down, and I think that one of the first stops we can get to is this ten thousand one hundred and seventy five. Now, now, granted, um, you know, full disclosure, as always, is you know this capitulated, this fell off much quicker than I thought it would have, um, and I think we're one of the bearish, most bearish analysts that are out there. Um, uh, at least a few that I that that, that I've seen, um, I think we we are we are we're one of the most bearish. And um, let's roll back really quick here, okay? Let's look at things maybe on a six-hour basis. So 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 where where could we possibly be, right? So yeah, we have this one, two, three, four, five, right? But on a, on a larger order, this could be one, this could be two, 
and then we could have a three. Right? Right, so this could be one, two, right? One, two, three, right? We can have a three all up here, four and a five, right? That very easily, that very well easily could be. Another thing I wanna show you as well, oh well, if I wanna, if I zoom out real quick, so then, so then this little, this little correction right here may not be, uh, or this big correction right here may not be as big as we think it is when you kinda of zoom out, right? Um, another thing I wanna show is that you know, yesterday we were counting this as a one, two, three, four, five, right? And I'm not 100% set that that's the case. This very easily, the five could be, you know, somewhere up here. You know, the four, who knows, somewhere down over here, right? And this could be, and this could be like this, right? It could be. I think the probability of it being is that is 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 kind of low because of how much this is dipping, okay? How much this is dipping the more this goes down the less the likelihood of that all right um, and not only that we do have a fair amount of overlap right here right we have a lot of overlap right here and that really is only really shown when you have uh, when you have a, a, a triangle okay an ascending wedge or a descending wedge as far as Elliott wave theory is concerned so that would that's what leads me to believe that possibly this may be the end of the this may be truly the one, two, three, four, five right here, and then we're having some sort of correction. Okay, so um, another thing I want to mention uh, is that daily volume is—I'm not sure if I even—I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet or not—but daily volume is declining, right? Daily volume is declining uh, quite a bit, and people are becoming coming more and more uh, disinterested within the market. In other words, they care less and less about it. That's okay because of the fact that, you know, you know, you want people, you, 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 you don't want everyone in the market all the time, right? You want people in the market for those really strong bullish moves up. Um, another thing I want to get over, go over is kind of this candlestick. What's going on candlestick wise? And, 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 Forget about names aside. I think people always get so caught up in names, okay? Just look at it from, from market action perspective, from, from market sentiment, okay? You know, this right here tells us a lot. This candle right here, all right, tells us a lot. This green candle, right, has a long wick, wick to, the, to, to the downside and has a very small body that's, that's at the top that's green. The fact that it's green is not really the big thing here. It's the fact that it's towards the top and it's small. So what it shows me that we have, if we look at the day prior or the pri previous three days, these look very bullish, right? And then right here, it looks like, well, there's some indecision. And not only is some indecision, there's people that were taking profits. People that were taking profits. And it covered almost the whole body of the previous candle, right? But then the bulls came back, right? The bulls regained control. Then here, this candle opens up right here, right? It has a small bearish uh, body to it. But still, that's not such a such a big deal. Um, but the fact that the bulls tried to run it up again, and then it came crashing back down. Okay, not crashing back down. It came back down. Not only did it come back down, but it did close slightly lower than where it opened. It didn't close at the absolute bottom, but it closed lower. So these three candles, at the very least, tell you that there is a change of momentum. There is a change of sentiment. Right change of sentiment big time it's not super bearish but it's very bearish it's bearish enough to really make you think something else something is changing and to really get very detailed on your analysis and look at look at a lot of different things so another, another thing um, let's just zoom out here real quick um, Okay, da, 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 da. just going over my list here. <laughs> yeah, so if if this gets down below um, here, and it may take some time, may take a few days. If it significantly gets down below this um, this uh, 200 moving average, we may be looking to get down to this ten this 10,175 level. Okay. Also, the same thing that's going on here on a daily basis. If it gets below this 55 EMA, okay, we could come back down, okay, not only get down to the 10,175, but also get back down to um, this uh, 200 moving average. Now, I'm not trying to be 
I'm not trying to spread FUD or anything else, guys. This is just the way I see it. And yes, I am a bit more bearish, bearishly tilted than a lot of the other analysts that are out there. Um, but it's only it's it's only worked out to, to to say the least. So we may have this. All this may also be is that the fact that we're just trying to test some levels, right? We had an impulse wave uh, up or motor wave up, depending on what you want to call it. And now we're pulling. Now we're pulling back down, right? When we pull back down, it makes sense for us to pull back down and test some of these key support levels: ten thousand one hundred seventy-five to fifty-five EMA which currently sits at 10,745 spot 88, or also this green line, right? This, this was pr proving to be, this green line was proving to be resistance and now it becomes support, right? Trading 101, pretty straightforward. But what I do want to keep an eye on is, is this right here on the RSI, right? We have this trend line coming right here, right? How far does this dip down, really? How far does this down? Right now we're kind of almost in indecision zone right an indecision zone but there's really nothing much you can really make of it currently right now all right one thing i will mention though is on a daily basis if you look at the um laguerre rsi right it's been a while since it's really been down in this bearish territory right it tried to get down here but it never did so it moved back up again Right, and now it's now possibly maybe the time where it comes down to a more uh, bearish territory. Maybe yes, maybe no. If it's going to come down to this bearish territory, you know, maybe that coming down to the bearish territory, maybe 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 coming down just to ten thousand one hundred seventy-five, maybe enough in order to go ahead and do that. Maybe maybe not. You know, we'll have to see again what happens. Um, Okay, so let's take a look also at, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the Fibonacci retracement level of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Aha, uh -huh. where are we sitting? We're sitting almost at, it nearly touched the 0.382, which is at 10,759. Possibly could draw this a little... A little bit more accurately, but it's pretty it's pretty close. Okay, so ten thousand uh, seven hundred and fifty nine is where uh, the point three eight two. Now, normally, um, what's happened on significant corrections within Bitcoin, you see it get between the point three eight two and the point five, right? Somewhere two thirds of the, usually two thirds of the distance between point three eight two and point five, and so that. That kind of is somewhere around. Let's just let's just call it out here about ten thousand five hundred and fifty, right? Somewhere somewhere along there. And ten thousand five hundred fifty happens to be somewhere along. Um, uh, hold up a sec. Uh, ten thousand five hundred fifty. Yeah, ten thousand five hundred fifty. You know, it's not super critical, but you know, it is a line that was represented right here and represented right represented right here. So could possibly be a line in which in which uh, we, we stop at. Another thing I also want to take a look at is specifically, um, uh, hold up one sec. Um, actually, no, we already show we already show that. So what could possibly happen here? You know, this very well could be of of a, uh, you know, in the order of a WXY. Um, why do I think that? Because we've had a lot of them in the past. We've had a lot of them. We had a very large, uh, lar you know, one right here. You know, there's also ways of drawing this um, where this really becomes a, a, an A, B, and a C. Now, I don't like doing it that way because I feel that the A portion of it really doesn't um, really doesn't hold up. Um, so it's not it's not really uh, primary count of mine by, by 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 any means. I feel that possibly that this just really was just a truncated fifth, and this can and this can come and this can uh, come down. It could come down as a WXY, a 335, a 535, like just a straight up zigzag could come straight down. So, um, regardless of the way in which it comes down, I think these are pretty pretty significant support levels. Okay. You know, right now um, we're sitting at 10,870 approximately. 
So that's a, that's what's going on on a on a on a one hour basis. Well, just about basically all just about most of the the uh, most of the time frames. So as far as the channel is concerned that we have here, um, yeah, I mean it's 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 not really telling us all very much. I mean, if you can look at the RSI, it almost tried to bounce off the bottom of the channel here, come up, and then it pierced right down below. Another thing I want to mention here is that it's been a while since we've gone ahead and actually been into this bearish territory on a one hour basis, right? The last time we have done that, we, we did that was when we were right here making this low right here, which was uh, approximately, um, call it February 5th, right? That's really when we were we were down here in this true oversold level. So, if you just look back as far as time is concerned, you know we were long overdue. We were long overdue. <laughs> we were we were we were long overdue. We were long overdue. Um, you see the distance between here and here versus what's happened before in the past, right? The, I think the only other really, at least in in, in recent past. Uh, time is when we had um, no even here even here with this huge bullish run you know we had times where we where we where we ticked below it okay so definitely long overdue to come to come down here at least on a one hour basis on a daily basis um, yeah I mean daily basis yeah from here to here it uh, it didn't it, it didn't touch and then we had from here to here a touch and then here to here so yeah I mean it doesn't have to on a daily basis go ahead and touch back down here so man maybe that's another way to go ahead and look at it um, okay so that's really about it I think I've tortured you tortured you guys enough with all the extraneous noises in the background and uh, we'll speak to you later on t t tonight hope you guys have a great day and and uh, happy trading.